Hey, hey, Jordan here from HardcoreMixing.com. I wanted to do a little video here peeking inside a mix I did for Shane Told of Silverstein for a solo project. Uh, he's just announced um, the release of this uh, EP that we did together, and um, uh, I just released this single for this song and the video and everything. So uh, I saw that that got released and came out and uh, thought it'd be cool to do a little behind-the-scenes video. Now, this isn't hardcore or metal. Uh, it's more of like just kind of rock uh, with a little more kind of poppy vibe to it. Um, so it's not my usual uh, hardcore metal stuff, but I think it'll be useful even for that genre because uh, I'm going to show you what I did with the acoustic guitars here. So, so this song is full band with drums and everything, but uh, it's kind of a acoustic lead. And sometimes it can be a challenge to get the acoustics to cut through the mix, but not take the whole thing over uh, and also blending it in with electrics and, and all that so so I'm going to show you what I did with the EQ on these acoustic guitars uh, let's just listen to a quick section here first So when the full band is in there and we've got the bass and electrics and drums and the acoustics, you can hear how I've tried to really get the strumming sound and the pick sound of the acoustic really popping through the mix to get that vibe of the acoustic driven rock song. And that definitely takes some work with the EQ. So let's check out what the acoustics sound like on their own here. Now let's bypass my EQ. So there's a pretty big difference there. Uh, you can hear how without my EQs on, we've got a lot more low end. It's not as bright. It doesn't sound as aggressive. You know, it sounds kind of like a natural acoustic guitar, which it is. We just recorded it with a single mic in the room. So let's see my first EQ here. It's uh, just the REQ4, simple EQ. And it's just notching out a frequency that was just building up too much in this track. Let's check it out. So you can hear how that kind of nasally, just ringing uh, frequency was coming through on the guitars there, and it was just bugging me, so I wanted to dip that out. So I'm dipping it out quite a bit, uh, almost 9 dB there, but very narrow, so it's not affecting the rest of the acoustic tone. It's really just getting rid of that annoying ring in that, in that frequency. And that's likely just due to a combination of the room we recorded it in and the actual acoustic guitar itself and where we place the mic and everything. Um, just for whatever reason, that frequency was building up, so we're notching it out here. So that's pretty straightforward, taking care of problems first. And then I've got the SSL channel here doing uh, my heavy lifting for the EQ. So this is bypass now, I'll play it and then switch it on. pretty big difference. So first thing is we've got a high pass filter at 145. So I'm getting rid of a lot of the low end and the boominess and the sub that's coming from the acoustic uh, mic. And that's just to make room for the bass and also for the electric guitars. If this was, if this song did not have electric rhythm guitars, then I probably wouldn't be cutting so much low end out of it. But since we're going to get a lot of that beefiness from the electric guitars, uh, I knew that I wanted to have less uh, of that in the acoustics here. And I'm going to keep going from the low end up. So down on my uh, low frequency EQ here at 220, I'm doing a low shelf um, taking out 4 dB. So I'm further reducing the low end here. Let's check that out. So to my ears, that's not even really a, a super drastic move that's almost just evening out and flattening out the EQ curve. There's just too much low end buildup. 
maybe it was mic'd a little too close or again just kind of the small room we recorded in we're getting some low-end buildup so that's just flattening out the uh, EQ curve to me and again we don't need that much low-end in the acoustics for this mix moving up to the low mids I've got a narrower dip here at about 300 360 actually taking out a few DB here um, just again some low mid buildup let's check that out A little more subtle on that one, but again, just helping with some low mid build up there. So moving up here is where we start getting into our boost. So I'm boosting at 2.2K, about 3.5 dB here. And that's that's going to help it have the mid range to come through on smaller speakers first and foremost. And it's also going to put the acoustics more up front in the mix since we do want this to be, you know, kind of driven by acoustic guitars. We need to have that mid range in there and that's going to help it compete with the electrics. So you can hear how when that EQ is off, it's, it sounds more natural. It almost sounds nicer just in solo like this, but in the context of the mix, it's just going to be pushed too far back and not going to sound up front enough. And that's why we got to kind of boost this, this uh, aggressive sounding kind of nasally uh, range in the acoustics to get on top of the, uh, the electrics. Lastly, we're adding some brightness here at 8K, about 3 dB, and this EQ uh, is actually automated here. So I'm just going to suspend it now so we can AB it. Just adding some brightness again you know if it was just the acoustics by themselves in a song like you might not add you might not need that much brightness but in the context of this mix we've got lots going on we need to we need to brighten it up and help help it sit on top 8k is a nice area for that you can even go a little higher or a little bit lower but somewhere around that area is nice for acoustic guitars and i'm showing you this all in solo but of course i made these eq decisions while i was mixing the song so that's why in solo with this eq it almost sounds unnaturally mid-rangey and bright but in the context of a mix, that's what it needed to be like to sound, you know, the way you would expect an acoustic to sound in this kind of mix. Like I said, I've got this EQ automated. So let's uh, re-enable that. And the reason I did that is because, again, in the context of this whole mix when the band is in, it needed to be that bright. But in the intro, we've just got this one acoustic here, and it was just like, it was way too bright. It was annoying to listen to in the intro. So I actually put this all the way down to just a half a dB, half a dB boost on the intro. And then once the band kicks in, it uh, ramps up. So let's check that out. See how without that top end boost, when it's just the acoustic, it sounds plenty bright enough. But then once the band kicks in, we needed to ramp it up here. Let's get out a solo. So that's what I ended up with for the acoustic sound on this mix. Um, I just want to show you with the whole mix going, like I was saying, uh, what you know the effect that this EQ has on the mix as a whole. So let's check that out. And I'm just going to flip back and forth here with the EQ on and off to see to see how it's affecting the mix. Through the door. So here when I bypass the EQ and we and we lose that mid-range and brightness, the acoustics really fall back and the electrics totally take over the mix and it gives it a really different vibe. But when you flip that EQ back on, we get the strumming sound, the percussive sound of the acoustic. We can hear the strings and it gives us that vibe that we're going for for this song, which is the acoustic-driven rock sound. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this little sneak peek into this song. Definitely check out the video. This song is called uh, Let You Down, I believe. Uh, and check out the uh, the EP that Shane's releasing. If you're a Silver Scene fan, or even if you're not, I uh, had a lot of fun working on this stuff uh, with him, so I'm excited to see it come out. 
And even though this wasn't, you know, heavy metal or hardcore or really even heavy rock mix, this is kind of how I would approach acoustics in the context of a mix with electrics and with full band and everything. So I think that these tips would help you if you're dealing with a heavier mix that has some acoustics too. You might just have to do even a little bit more uh, heavy lifting on the EQ, but this is basically the approach that I use. So thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on my channel, hit subscribe, or head over to hardcoremixing.com and grab some more free training and uh, my free mixing cheat sheet.